has just been so rough over the past couple of days. Is it getting any better? I was curious about that. You know, overnight we didn't really see any rainfall down there. The seas are a little bit choppy, but nothing terrible. However, today we got more storms moving back in. So today, uh, while we're starting quiet down here, looking at Port Fouchon, you can see where the capsize uh, lift boat is there just off the coast. It is quiet down there this morning. We've had some rain overnight on the North Shore. None of it too heavy, but uh, you know, at this point we don't need another drop. It's just adding to what we've seen in some places have picked up over 10 inches over the past uh, seven days. More rain moving in this afternoon. Now a few light showers this morning, uh, but really it's going to be this afternoon and through this evening. We got showers and even a few thunderstorms blowing on through. Uh, it could be heavy at times. Now I don't think we're going to see widespread flooding issues uh, with regards to how much rain we see, but uh, in general, one to two inches south of the lake through this afternoon and evening, uh, maybe up to an inch north of the lake. But as I mentioned, we you get any rainfall at this point. It's just going to cause problems because we're so saturated. Now we could see also a few stronger storms. That's going to be mainly south of the lake, and that will be for some damaging wind gust and some hail. That is certainly a possibility south of the lake, and that'll mainly be this afternoon. Now by this evening into tonight, things will start to wind down. Uh, the flash flood watch expires at 1 a.m. now tonight, and then Sunday is when we're finally going to start to dry out, and we'll have a fantastic weather tomorrow, and we'll have nice weather uh, really going into much of next week. So we'll talk about that, and we're also going to have an update on those rivers on the North Shore coming up in my full weather.